Today, we're going to be talking about a crucial game mechanic in Crown Trick. It's the elemental system and its effects. There are eight elements in total, and each element deals different types of damage. They can also cause various negative status effects. For example, electricity can paralyze and prevent units from performing normal attacks for several turns. The fire element can scorch and deal fire damage based on the percentage of total HP. You will often see different elemental terrain which affects any character that steps on it, except for the ice element, which has a chance to cause freezing, and lava, which can only only deal direct explosive damage. Other elements all cause different negative status effects when triggered. The negative status effects of other elements are all different, so we won't touch them for now. Players can check the information about effects of each element in the game encyclopedia. Making good use of the elements is essential for mastering crown trick. They can take advantage of elemental debuffs in order to make a more proactive combat approach. For instance, some monsters like King of Eternal Frost have elemental resistance to ice, and if you carry a weapon with ice attribute to it, the damage dealt to this enemy will be pitiful. But at the same time, his elemental weakness is fire, so when you use a fire type weapon, you will deal double damage. There are additional negative effects you can apply to certain monsters with elemental weaknesses. For example, this healing herb is not a hostile monster, but it can heal others in the room which can cause problems for L in battle. Since it has elemental weakness to poison, we can try using it to see what happens. When the additional negative effect is triggered, a healing herb actually poisons other monsters instead of healing them. With this knowledge, L's combat skills have become significantly more dynamic. There are lots of other additional effects like this in the game. We encourage players to experiment and discover it all for themselves. Also, if you want to cause negative status effects on monsters, the best way is to use elemental skills or items. Weapons with elemental attributes usually don't trigger any negative status effects, unless there is a weapon with special aspects to it. In this case, the sword has a wind element attribute and the negative status effect of wind is silence. But in the description, it doesn't say that this weapon can cause any negative status effect. No matter how many times we attack, it can only deal the wind damage and will not trigger the silence effect. In addition, elemental terrain can also be changed and mixed with other elements. For example, if we attack these wind tiles here with the fire element, it will transform into a flame tornado and can also cause additional fire damage. As for the water tiles, if we use fire on it, it will simply vaporize. There are many different combinations like that which open a field for experimentation. Strategic use of the elemental resources that you have at your disposal can improve your chances in the Nightmare Realm. When you become more familiar with the game, you'll begin to intuitively predict which types of monsters and bosses will appear in different levels, and then you can prepare yourself with effective elements to use against them. Alright, that's it for our brief introduction to elemental effects in Crown Trick. In the next episode, we're going to teach you how to combine familiars and relics. Thanks for watching, and be sure to add Crown Trick to your Steam wishlist.